So, this is um, WizKid. I'll let this kind of explain itself, really. Uh, there's no real need for me to say anything. But basically, uh, I'll explain stuff anyway. Uh, I am WizKid. I am this uh, green-headed dude. I've got to dislodge the bricks and kill the enemies. And once you kill the enemies, uh, these paint things appear, um, which are musical notes. And once I collect all the musical notes, then the lovely musical tune happens, and uh, we get what is known in the game as the Golden Shower. Uh, you might notice me um, just not taking damage, but that's because when enemies spawn, uh, you are yeah, temporarily immune to damage. So, I have five health, so if I have full health, I can buy a star, and instead of taking away $100, it gives me $100, uh, which is necessary because I need to buy all the items ready to uh, progress. So, all these levels, I have to solve a puzzle. So this puzzle, I have to ring the bell and get the door down, because um, that's what the bell does. Oh no, there's a dog, whatever shall I do? I can distract it with a newspaper. Anyway, while he's reading the newspaper, I'm gonna go down the well. So, down the well, there's obviously men and ladies, so let's go in the ladies first. Um, in the ladies, someone has very helpfully put a can of spiked color in here. And just to show you guys something, this is what happens if you use the toilet. Yay! Uh, so that opens a secret uh, way through to World 3, which I won't be using, but I just quite like that animation. I like to imagine every time we use the loo that that happens somewhere in some volcano. <laughs> anyway, to get out of the well, we obviously have to use this particular urinal um, because it floods. And it floods so badly um, that the whole well becomes submerged. I mean, don't worry so much because I could always go down the well again later if I wanted to. Robo, um, you yo. got $50 for Robo Best Mafia Host. Hey! And it's towards the alternative introduction? Oh, funny that. Sweet, I'll show you guys at the end then. Anyway. We also have a $10 donation from Mr. Boost. He says, hi, I'd got, I donate now. SMH, made it. Okay, so press the button. Also towards the introduction, obviously, so go for it, Robo. Yeah, sweet. Anyway, so the button obviously summons a donkey. Check this shit out. And of course, we need the uh, the carrot going in there. Carrot on a stick is obviously how you uh, how you get a donkey to do th to do things. You know, it's a metaphor for life, really. So up here, the token is for the oxy gun machine, which, as everybody knows, allows you to breathe underwater. And next level. So. Most of the levels are like this. You, you dislodge bricks um, in order to fill up uh, the notes at the top. Um, I've actually got quite bad RNG with notes because I've got to get, oh bloody hell, four blue and four green notes. So this is gonna be uh, fun. Uh, also collecting notes during the rounds is something that needs to be done because uh, you can only have a certain number of notes on screen at any one time. Um, you also get bonuses to help you. So at the moment I've got a clown nose which um, allows you to juggle blocks. Have we got, have we only got mono sound? Because it's not doing the whole tune. We're not, we're not getting both channels. All right. But the audience is getting the full, the full majesty of what shall we do with a drunken sailor. Okay, it's not All right. Oh, I need another green one. Green one, please. Green. Oh, thank you. So. Basically, filling up the notes a lot of the time requires a bit of uh, good luck uh, in terms of getting the right ones, but uh, can't be helped. There it is. Okay, there we go. Now we get the golden shower. Mr. Azuki, one extra dollar to Robo Sparkle just for fun. Show us the intro. Okay, so get the key and so there's the exit. By the way, there's a dead donkey if you put the red and the blue filters together. It's uh, sad, but we all, we all mourn the passing of our dead donkey friends. But he'll probably be back later, alive and all that jazz. Anyway, 
Runde 2. Wizimanjaro. Or Wizimanjaro. That famous volcano. So this is one of the few levels where in order to get past it we don't have to solve a puzzle, we just actually have to beat all of the rounds. Um, as such, the developers obviously made this to be a bit more challenging. Rather annoyingly, but there you go, can't be helped. Uh, I also need to take some damage during this round, um, not for any kind of pressing uh, matter, but for a later level. So I'll probably start taking the damage soon. Alright, probably stop taking damage now, hopefully. Uh... Long time. I suck a bit, never mind. We'll come back to that one later. Alright, so ducks are crazy. Crazy ducks. So this game uh, was created by a company called Sensible Software, um, probably one of my favourite uh, games producers of the uh, 80s slash 90s. Um, they made the prequel to this, which is Whizball, um, which is still regarded as one of the best games uh, of all time on the uh, Commodore 64, uh, and rightly so. The Amiga ports are really not as strong, uh, unfortunately, um, but you know, even so, still a great title, definitely worth checking out if you're into your retro games, especially if you're into ones with a little bit of insanity. Um, WizKid is far more insane though. Okay, okay and that's level complete. So now I've completed it all, just get the kitten that appears. I probably should have mentioned this is why we're doing this. We're uh, saving kittens. So um, the plot of this game, and obviously there is a quite in-depth, convoluted plot, um, the evil wizard Zarx has kidnapped uh, Nifter the cat and her eight kittens. And uh, in order to beat the game, I must rescue all eight of said kittens and uh, deliver, them, deliver them to the safety of their mother. So this level is a fun one because I do need to get quite a bit more dosh than I normally would. So. Going to uh, collect some here, rather than going straight for the uh, golden shower. Okay, didn't uh, narrowly missed out on getting uh, enough money in one go, so we just have to go to the uh, this is the secret screen. Alright, so we need the bonbon and the shawl scarf. Basically, the flying scarf is absolutely necessary if you want to uh, fly any kind of aircraft, such as this one that's just appeared. I think you'll find all of these puzzle solutions are pretty much obvious if you think about it for a few seconds. Alright. So getting the scarf allows you to not fly up to level six, as the game potentially suggests, but to grab the cross on the church. 
So now in a game that's kind of filled quite a lot with uh, notes RNG, we have uh, a, well, it's a really itself, lucky dip. Literally the RNG part of the game. So I want to get the ring. Go on, give me a ring, clown. Give me the ring. Give me the ring. Thank you. All right, do I still have the presents? No, I don't. All right. Presents. Bear. Bear. Give me the bear. Give me the bear. Give me the bear. Cannot bear this. Okay, let's reset the RNG. Give me the bear. Give me the bear. Thank you. All right. There's the bear and there's a spiked cola. So you get the spiked cola to the clown and uh, obviously he gets down like a clown. All right, now he needs the match. Give me the match. Give me the match. Give me the match. God damn it, clown! I you your crazy spikes color. There it is. All right, now we can continue with the rest of the game. Basically, I need to come out of that with the shovel, the cross, and the match. The fourth item, this is why I collect the one kilogram weight from earlier, because the fourth item just increases my chances of getting the three that I want. So there, um, obviously the solution to this level is to dig deep underground and just keep digging straight down. Straight down. As it turns out, there's a kitten there. You know, in amongst all the, all the bones. That's not creepy at all. Speaking of not creepy, um, so this is why I was losing health earlier. The goal in level five is to die. That seems pretty simple, yeah? Problem is, is I cannot take damage from enemies. So I need to die another way. The first step, as always, is to uh, get my little golden shower going. Also, I'm impressed at the uh, lack of these nuts comments. With the big whiz nuts. I have not got, I have not got good notes RNG at the moment. This is fun times, right? Screen. All right, I need two blue notes. A blue note game. Blue note me. This game does not want to cooperate today. I blame the German language myself. Seriously, blue notes. Any blue notes at all would be welcome, game. It's the Blue Notes game. Blue Notes. Seriously, game. <laughs> what colour do you call that? Stop. And because I completed so many levels, I've got the cat, but I can't get the cat because that'll take me to level seven and Cannot beat the game unless you beat all the levels. So let's try this again, game. Give me the blue note. Blue note. Yes. All right, there's one. Give me a second blue note, game. Yes. The whole room erupts in applause. I can just leave this fall down. Right, hidden screen. Let's go. Oh, no, there's bombs. Oh, dead. I'm not looking forward to this stave coming up. There's no red notes in there. Red notes are the most common ones. Anyway, inside the grave you will find Dracula. Or some kind of uh, vampire anyway. And of course he's, he's, he's weak to the cross. And that's how you wreck Castlevania. Anyway, so level six is the callback to the previous game, uh, Whizball. Um, a lot of kind of transition bonus stages in Whizball and they all look a little bit like this. 
Um, so it's essentially a shmup. Let me know when you have time for a donation rubble. So basically, um, the objective is to kind of finish each uh, wave as quickly as possible. Um, and also, seriously, series of warning coming up uh, in the next round. So yeah, these rocks, you kind of just shoot them and they bounce back. You can't really damage these, you can just wait for them to pass, really. Again, just kind of carry on through, really. So, I don't know if you, the, um, the, the viewers can hear this, but uh, you'd be hearing a lot of bling, bling of, you know, sound effects of the enemies getting killed. I don't know what's up with the sounds here live. But we're missing out on several nifty sound effects. But luckily we've got the... Uh, the sirens, so that's the important thing. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Alright, so, oh shit, I've taken too much damage, but whatever. Anyway, this is the safe spot. Alright, so now that's done, now I've got to do it uh, in extreme mode. Which is exactly the same, except now the enemies can fire back. Oh dear. Uh, not all the enemies can fire back, though, these ones can't. Oh, I got just took damage again and again. This is not going well. I'm about to die, bloody hell. This is not good. I think for the final level I might take some safety lives. <laughs> just saying. I don't seem to be having luck on my side, and neither do I seem to have skill, but whatever, we'll go for this. Dang. Okay, that's no, I actually didn't lose time, um, because I got, I got killed just as the wave was ending, so I got away with that. Uh, I don't need all my lives, so. And it does refill my health, which is very, very useful for the final stages. I tend to take damage during this, but just not this much. Okay. Oh no, not with that. Whatever. Oh, there's an errant bullet coming my way there. So once again, safety, 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 safety. Not all safe though. Ah, so. Got it. Just take the damage. I really shouldn't be taking the damage. I should be very carefully take, not taking damage, but whatever. Anyway, and that's uh, level six. So, level seven. We could get some tacos. Uh, this one uh, requires. Yeah, a lot of um, notes, so this is going to be a life. Uh, this is usually the shortest um, level in the run. Um, just because literally all you need to do is get all the notes um, and get 100 whiz bucks. But uh, because my notes, these, my, my stave this time is so long and they're full of uh, such speedrun unfriendly colours, I need two blues. Oh god, I need two blues again. Right, there's one. Robo, could you explain us why there is or there was round Mount Rushmore in the last level? Well, where else do you think Mount Rushmore is going to be? Uh, in America? Not Space Mount Rushmore. Oh, that was dangerous. I almost didn't have enough dosh. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, space map much more. It's in space. 
That, that indeed, if you were reading the title of the level, is the Great Whizball Mystery. Come here. Whizkid Thrift Undermitchen. Whizkid meets Dog Girl. Um, there's definitely a popular theory going around that this is the result of a very painful breakup that one of the developers had with uh, a girlfriend and uh, decided to model Dog Girl after her. Um, after, yeah, and uh, Dog Girl, in fact, does like to um, bark along with the music. Uh, and the music being, of course, how much is that doggy in the window? Got a ten dollar donation saying Wizkid was one of my favorite late era Amiga games. Great to see a speedrun for it here. Got up early just to watch this and donate, of course. Sensible hype from Anonymous. Sensible hype indeed. I do I really did love the games in their calendar. I'm gonna stop talking for a bit because I don't like this screen. It's the toughest one in the game. I'm going to screw this one up so badly, I'm just going to abandon this, <laughs> this bricks for now. Ah. Always a tough one, that one. It's going to be very unlikely to lead to victory, but I'm going to go for it anyway. A $30 donation from Matt. Boom! <laughs> Do not like that round. <laughs> that is easily the most difficult in the game. And, you know, I had, the, I had the, the clown nose, which is quite overpowered as it is, because it allows you to juggle bricks, and I still only just made it. Take this one easy. Ah, no, I got damaged. I did not want that to happen. Alright, Ankity. Right, level 9. Final level. So, I need to finish this, not only finish this level, but finish it with at least 200 bucks. And I'm probably going to go for 500 just to be safe. <laughs> and we will see why soon. Whizball was one of my first games as a kid back on the Commodore 64. Oh. This WizKid run brings back epic memories. Cheers, Robo and ESA. Uh, so that was uh, the bats. Kids. The bats are real. But the dodges are realer. Many, 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 many. Damn it, little ducky. What are you doing to me? Oh, I've got to collect the dosh before I can go further. Okay, let's get some more monies. Oh, no. That would have given me 500 because I would have had the uh, bonus. You get a bonus if you get all of the monies in the golden shower. Oh dear, I don't know if I'm going to make it to 500, but I really do want to. I don't know why, I just don't trust my luck with this game today. Or 60.
500. Okay, good. Happy with that. Okay, comfortably 500. Right, so that's the end of the uh, head banging levels. Um, so now it's time for the grand finale. And uh, I know you're thinking I'm ahead of uh, schedule here, but I'm really not. 25 minutes, 25 and a half minutes is quite poor. <laughs> really want to be at this point around the 22 minute mark, I think. Um, so the reason I need to save all the kitties is so they can uh, populate this rowboat. So obviously Wizkid and Nithra can't be asked to row themselves. Um, but look, Zarx is hot on my tail and he moves quite swiftly. You know, what with there being only one of him and everything. And you need all eight kitties to uh, get to his castle in time. All right, so now we have uh, disc swapping. Wow. Uh, disc swapping strats there, ladies and gentlemen. What? It reset the game. Well, that is unfortunate. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's abandoned the final level, the wizardoids. Boom. <laughs> uh. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. I guess you should have practiced that swap a bit more. I probably should have practiced. I don't know. I, I literally do not know what happened. The only way that could happen is if it's registered a escape, like pressing the escape button. Yeah. It definitely didn't happen. Well, it, it, it does, you know, just not, not out. Uh, Might be a game bug or something as well. Uh, maybe. Because he immediately asked what the name of the level is. So yeah. Maybe. Well, uh, I could still just show off Wizardroids. Um, just level select to get there. I need to look it up quickly. All right. Because the donation incentive was met, I'm going to show you guys the uh, intro to Wizkid. And while that's happening, I'm going to look up exactly the sequence I need to uh, get to the Wizardroid stage. to that as well. Anyway, well, I've got I've got my uh, chief how to get to the final area. It won't it won't do it properly because it won't show off the um, the actual ending sequence, which is a shame. I should have brought a trainer. I should have brought a cracked version. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm really disappointed with that. But anyway, so this is the intro. This is, uh, yeah. But you didn't know Whiskey was a conductor, right? No, because I won't be showing the whole thing. Because uh, just doing this, it's, it's, it's worth the, the payoff of the ending sequence is worth playing the Wizardoid game for around 13 minutes, which is how long it takes. But, ah, uh, oh, nearly. <laughs> well, 
Welcome to the perfectly logical adventures of WizKid, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wow, this is not giving me any pleasant staves. Alright, so basically what I need to do to uh, get to this is just... Uh, ...beats my golden shower again. What I need? Uh, some blues. Give me some blues game. I know you're giving me plenty of blues already, what with the... Uh, ...final area failing to load, but... Uh, Let's, let's solve the crossword. Crossword 2091. This will get me enough money. Ah, oh, bugger. Screwed that one up. To give me enough money to uh, hopefully make it through to where I need to get to. Alright, give me a blue. Give me a blue. There's a blue. Actually, it's only the, uh, the uh, diamond I need. Alright, so you may have wondered um, what that machine in the men's room was um, when we saw it earlier. Um, whereas obviously if you put a token in it, you will find that it is in fact um, a bubblegum machine. Floating away. Alright, so we need to go. Men's. There's a whole bunch of hidden rooms in here, uh, and these will work on a binary sequence. I think the, the room number you're on doubles if you enter the men's, and doubles plus one if you enter the ladies. So that's a shortcut to round three. And this is what happens if you make it to it all the way to the end, is you get to play. Um, all right, let's hope this actually works, please. Wizaroids, and this is the game. And in order to beat the game, you have to um, beat Zark's high score, which is uh, about fifty-five thousand eight hundred. And that's what the uh, and this is what the final boss of the game looks like. And if you guys want to go, <laughs> anyway, like I say, without without the payoff of a. Uh, We've had to pay off of a uh, final uh, credit sequence and all that jazz to uh, look forward to. It's uh, not so much uh, worth looking at. It is um, interesting though that this in itself has an invincibility cheat. If you can just kind of hide off screen here, and uh, you can't be hurt now. And that wizard clearly passed right through me. So, you know, if you're feeling a bit low on lives, you can just kind of hang around there. Um, but yeah, and that's, uh, that's the game, that's uh, WizKid. So I piloted out of there, but yeah. Sorry we didn't get to see it properly, but at least I showed you sort of all the stuff. Yeah, what have we got next? Oops. 
Thank you, Robo, for that run and nice. sadly that unfortunate uh, quick ending to it. It was speedrun strap. I ended it quickly. I beat, I beat my record by three minutes. So...